We just solved this problem using the TI-84 graphene calculator. However, I also wanted to show how we could solve this using the grapher from Desmos.com. Here we're given the exponential decay function W of T, which models the weight loss of a professional wrestler, where W of T, or W, is the weight in pounds, and T is the time in weeks. Notice how we can tell the initial weight was 270 pounds, and because he's losing 1.3% of his weight each week, the base is 0 0.987, which is 100% minus 1.3% converted to a decimal. So because the base is between 0 and 1, we have exponential decay. And there are two questions we want to answer. First, determine how much girth weighed after five weeks, round to the nearest tenth, and then second, determine how long it took for girth to weigh in at 197.23 pounds. And just as before, we'll be solving the second part graphically. So let's go to Desmos.com and enter in our function. And we can go ahead and use the same notation. We can use W of T. So W of T equals, we had 270, and then in parentheses, 0 0.987, right arrow, we want to raise this to the power of t, so we press shift six, and then t. Now we can go ahead and press enter. Now the first question was to determine the weight after five weeks, which would be to evaluate this function at t equals five, or evaluate w of five. So now we can just enter w of five, and notice how the function value appears here on the right. So the nearest tenth, the weight would be approximately 252.9. Now the second question asks us to determine how long it took for girth to weigh in at 197.23 pounds. So to solve this graphically, we'll enter the constant function W of T equals 197.23 pounds. And now we'll look for the intersection point of these two functions to determine how long it took for girth to weigh this amount. But to see the point of intersection, we do have to adjust the window or the scaling on the x and y axes. So we'll press this wrench here for the graph settings. Let's also click on projector mode, which makes things easier to see. And now we'll adjust the x-axis, which is really the t-axis, and the y-axis, which is really the w-axis. So for the x-axis, let's click here and change this to go from, let's say, negative 5 to, let's say, I don't know, 30. Notice as I change these values, the graph automatically changes. And now for the vertical axis, we know the starting weight was 270 pounds, which means the vertical axis should go past this value to let's say 300. So let's make the vertical axis or y-axis go from let's say negative 50 to 300. Notice as soon as we do this, we can see the two functions graph behind us. So now let's go ahead and close this window. The nice thing about Desmos is if we have the cursor over here on the far left next to one of the functions, the graph automatically shows the key points. Notice how if we move the mouse over to this point of intersection, the coordinates automatically show even though it is rounding the function value or the weight of 197.23. But notice how the t coordinate is 24, which means it took girth 24 weeks to weigh 197.23 pounds. Let's go back and record our information. We found the weight after five weeks was 252.9 pounds because W of five was approximately 252.9 pounds. We also found graphically that girth weighed 197.23 pounds after 24 weeks. I hope you found this helpful.